this is a physics class. And even though the book is called Conceptual Physics and the course is called Conceptual Physics, there is math involved. However, don't panic quite yet. I've had a variety of students over the, over the years. Some of them haven't had math in decades. Some of them just have not had much success in math. But the, the math doesn't get too bad in, in my opinion. Some students might disagree. However, just to give you some idea of the math and something that I would like you to do before you come to class next time, if I did not do this in class already, is a problem like this you should be able to do in your head in about 10 seconds. So you should be able to try to figure out how you can solve, come up with an answer for this problem that is a division sign there. How to come up with an answer for this in about 10 seconds. And I'll change the numbers for when I quiz you in class. But uh, I want you to try to think about how to do that. This is math that is definitely not beyond your ability. You're quite capable of doing it. And when you see the answer, if you haven't figured it out, you'll go, oh, of course, that was so obvious. And part of the reason why I do this is because this is physics class. It is not math class. And so there are certain shortcuts that we can take that you're not allowed to do in math class. So just relax. We'll get through it. It'll be OK. And if you want, you'll actually learn something. So don't forget to rejoice because you are taking physics class here, and physics is the best subject. Have a nice day.